Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on my hair, uh, just talking about it, talking about um, what I like about it, uh, what it is, all that stuff. I get a lot of questions when I wear this wig. Um, this is a wig from divaswigs.com and this is their um, long Brazilian, I forgot the exact name of it, but I will put it all on the screen so you guys can see. Um, but it is a Brazilian lace front wig. Uh, it is, actually no this is a full lace this is a brazilian full lace wig it is 26 inches long it's in jet black uh color number one and it is a glueless full lace wig so it is a lace wig that does not have to be glued down to your head um you can just use the adjustable straps it has adjustable straps and combs on the inside of the wig um so that you can wear it whenever you want you don't have to glue it down I glue my wig down only in the front just so that it'll lay flat as like like I want it to um, but you definitely don't have to glue the wig down I get a lot of questions about this wig basically um, where I got it from and what it is this is not my first time working with the company this is not my first time wearing their wig so I know the quality of their wigs are pretty good for the most part this wig however has been processed so it's not virgin hair um, it has been processed to be yakky texture what that means is that the strands of hair of each individual strand of hair is not going to be silky, shiny, is not it doesn't really match the coarseness of my real hair, so I feel like it's not perfect for me. However, I have expressed this to Diva's wigs and they did tell me it's because the hair was processed to be kinky, um, to have a kinkier texture. However, I prefer silkier hair because my hair is a little more silky when it's straight. Um, my hair is very, very lightweight and silky when it's straightened. So I, I, I tend to lean more towards uh, hair that has that mimics that kind of texture. Overall, I do really like the wig. I mean, even though I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the texture, that's my bad because I ordered the yaki texture wig um, but I mean I still really like it I wear it a lot I get a lot of compliments on it um, I like the length of it it is 26 inches like I said my belly button is right here so it comes past my belly button around my hip area so this is my hip bone it comes around my hip area it does have a fair amount of shedding just a fair amount not a whole whole lot but it does shed a little bit um, but that's to me that's normal I'm really rough when I brush and, and comb the hair so uh, I feel like that has a lot to do with why it sheds so much because I'm just really rough. Yeah, it doesn't shed any like excessive like clumps of hair, you know what I mean? It's just a strand or two every now and then. I mean, if you run your fingers through your hair 80 times a day, of course you're going to get a, sh a strand or two because you're pulling on the hair. So, um, yeah, it doesn't really shed a whole lot. I do like that it lays flat without having to do too much to it. I didn't really have to like... Um, mold the wig down to get it to lay flat the the parting and everything is nice it wasn't like too skinny or too thick it was like just enough the density of this hair I believe is a 150 basically tells you how close the hairs are together so how much hair will be on the wig so like if you have a less amount of density the hair will be thinner if you have a more if more amount of density then the hair will be thicker so it just depends on what kind of thickness you like some people like thinner density because it looks more like their natural hair because most people's hair especially not my I know my hair is not that thick when you straighten it you are getting a lot of hair on your head It's a little more heavy than most wigs that I wear because it's more dense than most wigs that I wear so just keep that in mind the heaviness um, and how thick it is will be determined by the density the thinner the hair is when it's this long it just looks really pin straight and stick like so to have thicker denser hair makes it look like you know good I didn't even have to like move the part over I just slid my wig to the side you know just kind of um, oh the cap size is a number one I did get a the smallest cap size they have because I have a very small head and it's still a little bit too big for me it's a little bunched up in the back because the straps adjustable straps are tight very very tight because I have a small head in the back so um, yeah I did get the smallest cap size a lot of people ask about cap size I got the smallest one because I have a little head okay <laughs> very little so yeah like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know. But that's pretty much all I wanted to mention about the wig. I wanted you guys just to have a reference point for the hair if I wear it again. Because I know a lot of people ask about the hair. Um, so, yeah. Let me know if you guys still like hair reviews. I don't I don't know if people still watch them. Yeah, so I don't remember what I was saying. My camera cut off. But 
uh i will talk to you guys in my next video i hope that you guys enjoyed this um like i said let me know if you want to see more hair reviews and i'll do them for you um what i'm wearing my earrings are from asos and my top is from shein so yeah uh that's it i will talk to you guys in my next video okay